Hello, everyone, welcome back to HegoSpot channel. Today's video is about how to reset your iPad. Generally, there are two cases when you need to reset your iPad. The first one is because your iPad is stuck or some programs broke down, you need to factory reset your iPad. But the second situation is more annoying. Because you forget your iPad passcode, you have to reset your iPad to access it again. Never mind, no matter which situation you meet, this video will show you how to restore your Apple iPad to its default setting step by step. Okay, now let's get started with the first scenario. In case you know your iPad passcode, resetting your iPad is a breeze. Go to Settings and find General option here. And on the sidebar, you can see the Transfer or Reset iPad option at the bottom, tap on it to proceed. Well, you will see two options here, select Erase All Content and Settings to continue. Now you will come to the Erase This iPad screen to confirm your choice. Make sure that you have backed up your iPad's important data and files, because this will erase all the contents of your iPad. Once you perform this action, the original data will be completely deleted. Alright, if you're ready, tap Continue to go on. And then it will ask you to enter your iPad passcode. After entering your passcode, you need to follow the prompts to enter your Apple ID password. Well done, once the password is successfully verified, the reset process will automatically start. Okay, now let's move to the second situation, that is, when you forgot your iPad passcode, how you factory reset your iPad to unlock it. If your iPad is running iOS 15.2 or above and is connected to the network, then you can try using the Erase iPad option to reset your iPad. After you keep entering the wrong passcode, you will get an iPad unavailable or security lockout screen and tell you how many minutes you have to wait before you can enter the passcode. Now, keep trying the wrong passcode on your iPad until you see an Erase iPad option at the bottom of the screen. Tap on it to go to the Erase All Data and Settings screen, and hit Erase iPad again to continue. Now, you just need to enter your Apple ID and password to start the reset process. After your iPad returns to factory settings, it will restart and you can then follow the on-screen instructions to set your iPad up and retrieve your data from the latest backup. This method looks pretty simple, right? But sometimes, your iPad doesn't show the Erase iPad option, so you will need to use a third-party tool to solve this problem. And we recommend iPhone Unlocker, a product that is dedicated to solve all kinds of passcode problems for iPad and iPhone. You can easily reset your iPad with just a few clicks. And the download link is below the video. Now, run iPhone Unlocker on your computer and select Wipe Passcode option in the interface. Then, connect your iPad to computer and follow the on-screen steps to put your iPad into recovery mode. Alright, confirm your iPad information and click on Start to go ahead. Now wait the software to download appropriate firmware for your device. Next, type 0000 in the pop-up windows and click the Unlock button to reset your unavailable iPad. Look, once done, your iPad will be unlocked and you can regain the access to it. Okay, if you have backed up data on your computer or iCloud, you can choose to restore your lost data when you follow the on-screen prompts to set iPad up and come to the Apps and Data step. Besides, using iTunes or Finder can also help you reset your iPad. But you need to pay attention to two points. First, if you use iTunes, you must make sure that the latest version of iTunes has installed on your computer. And your iPad needs to be in recovery mode. Now, let's start. Turn off your iPad and open iTunes or Finder on your computer. Then you need to press and hold the right button according to your iPad model to put it into recovery mode while plugging your iPad into your computer. Okay, if you are using an iPad without a home button, 
press the volume button closest to the top button and release it quickly, then press and quickly release the volume button farthest from the top button. Now, press and hold the top button until you see recovery mode appear on the screen. If you're using an iPad with a home button, press and hold the home button in the top or side button at the same time. When you see recovery mode screen, release the buttons. C. When your iPad successfully enters recovery mode, it will be recognized by iTunes or Finder. Now click on the Restore option in the pop-up window. Then click on Restore and Update in the next window to trigger the factory reset process. And you'll find the progress bar in the top left corner of iTunes or at the bottom of Finder, now you just need to wait for it to finish. That's all for today. Pick a way to bring your Apple iPad back to its default settings now. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and learn more tips on how to solve various problems with iOS devices. Thanks for watching.